Tyler, welcome to Yak in Texas. Today we're talking wine spear death. The thing I love about this little format chat show is that all the things that people ask me about and comment about, I can kind of go into more depth on this. A big stick with a spike on it. I got the idea from Yak Hawaii. If you've never seen Yak Hawaii, check out their channel. It's an awesome channel. Lots of, uh, I think it's yakhawaii.com. They got lots of YouTube videos on well, these guys fishing 200 yards off the beach catching wahoo. And these guys know pelagics, and the way they subdue pelagics, instead of gaffing them with a hook, they take a spear basically, and they spear them in the head, and it stuns them, and then you just have a lot of leverage to lift this dead fish in the yak. There's no thrashing, no breaking rods, no breaking ankles. And those big pelagics will do some damage. I'm sure it comes from them doing a lot of spear fishing and stuff. But basically, this is what it looks like. The way you make the spear gaff is you go to Lowe's and you buy a threaded rod. I'm not sure what they call this rod, but they use them for construction. If you can get one in stainless steel, I have a buddy who works construction. He brought me a couple of stainless steel ones. Um, but my prototype was actually not made out of stainless steel. In episode 15 of 30 Miles Out Kayaks and Cobia, or oil rigs and Cobia, you'll see us catching a monster four and a half foot Cobia and then spear gaffing him with this thing. And, and you just, it's all at lows. You get the, the, the threaded rod, and then you get a shovel handle. And you chop the shovel handle to the length that you like, and then you drill a hole in the shovel handle, and you pound this threaded rod in there. You can put some epoxy in, but the threading usually makes a tight grip when you pound it in there. And then once it's in there, you take a file, and you make a sharp, sharp point on the end. And I usually, I put a rope handle, to have something to uh, you know just grab onto and hang it and when that plegia comes alongside the boat there's no more gaffing it and pissing it off you spear them behind the head it stuns them it kills them if they're not dead you can spear them one more time and then when they're dead you bring them in it's much safer for kayak fishing it also gives you peace of mind for sharks if you ever were fighting a fish and you started tracking sharks you have something to poke back and for less than $12, $13, you have an awesome fish spirit machine. You can check my show out, 30milesout.com, episode 15, where we're fishing offshore for cobia. And you'll see us use this Hawaiian spear gas several times on cobia, on a four and a half foot, 60 pound cobia. You'll see them using it on uh, spade fish and some other stuff. So check it out. Uh, I'm Ty. We'll catch you right here next time on Yak in Texas.